Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, using Dynamic Link to go from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition. All right, in the past you could send from Premiere Pro to Audition and render out a video, but now you're able to do that using Dynamic Link, which means anything you change in the video from Premiere Pro instantly shows up in Audition. Let's go have a look. So here I've got um, an edit, a bunch of clips. You can see I've got two tracks for two different labs and a bunch of uh, video clips offset on each other. I'm gonna take this whole timeline and go to the edit menu Edit in Adobe Audition, Sequence. And now I can send this through Dynamic Link or no video at all if I just want the video itself or just the audio itself, or I could send it with a preview, a low res preview, but I'm gonna use Dynamic Link. It's also gonna put it in an Adobe Interchange, Audition Interchange folder. All the clip names and the track names will stay the same. I can render audio clip effects. So if I've added effects in here, they'll render. I'm just gonna turn that off. Send clip volume keyframe metadata would also go across and I'll open this in Audition. All right, click OK. It's preparing the sequence, preparing the audio for Audition. It's actually extracting new audio files. So I never harm these files that are in here. They're protected. So once it's done, it's gonna launch Audition and open up a brand new multi-track with the exact same files in it. And you can see, there we are, let me just open all of this, and there are my tracks. The video is down here, so when I start to play that video, if I tap the tilde key over top of here, you can see I get a high quality preview, and I could even tear that off and put that onto a second display, um, or look at that through. Mercury Transmit. All right, so here are all of my clips, all my audio playing back. Um, at this point, I could go into each clip if I wanted to by double clicking on a clip and go in here and use Spectral Frequency Display or the regular edit um, waveform and edit this if I want. Go back to multi-track, look at the mixer, hit play, and edit this and mix this any way I want. And if I go over to my effects rack, Maybe on lav one, I'm gonna use one of the pre-built presets in here to clean up and level voice over. And I get a prompt saying one or more of the effects are CPU intensive and uh, they may have to be rendered uh, for you to get good accurate playback. And I can tell it, hey, I've got a fast computer, don't show this again. Uh, but now you'll notice a, a huge Where? difference. Uh, this new place downtown, uh, they've got a great- And I'll do the same to lav two. And if I wanted to, I could open up one of these and change its settings. I'm just gonna leave that um, in that case. All right, so what if somebody changed this video in Premiere Pro? Well, here I'm gonna show you. Let me just move over to uh, Premiere Pro. So I split the screen. Here's Premiere Pro on the right. Here's Audition on the left-hand side. I've got a black and white um, adjustment layer over here in Premiere Pro, and when I turn that on, without even having to save that, when I go back to Audition, you can see it instantly updates as an adjustment layer and plays back. Come back over here and turn that off, and it's gonna turn off over there. All right, so how do you get your stuff back over to Premiere Pro if in fact you need to go back in the multi-track menu, export to Adobe Premiere Pro? And here you have the options of you can mix down a session to a stereo file 5.1 or mono, um, or you could export each track as a stem. So although this is a bunch of individual clips, this will now be two separate tracks. And then I can tell it to open it in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's processing all of the files for me. Remember, there's a lot of, of high-end effects going on in here, a lot of... Uh, changes with the adaptive noise reduction volume, speech volume level, leveler. And now it's importing the files over here. It's uh, asking me, do I want to copy the active sequence to a new audio track? Yes, I do. And now when we go and look at that again, remember I had two tracks in here. So if I mute those two tracks and we open up uh, these two tracks, you can see 
our audio is back and we have the option of turning on that adjustment layer too. So that's the new dynamic link back and forth between Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Plus just sending stuff over to Audition is a huge benefit. Sometimes you need to tweak things like take out a cell phone ring or somebody drops something on set. So the two applications work hand in hand and will really give you a lot of flexibility. Well, hopefully you've found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then go out and get your free 30 day trial. Actually, there's a link down in the description just for you. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.